Hey friends, welcome back to Holistic Health at Home and welcome to this channel if you're new. My name is Leslie, I'm a certified detoxification specialist and owner of Whole Tox, where we take a holistic approach to detoxification. Today's video is another important foundational topic to grasp so you can deepen your detox journey. If you haven't already, I highly suggest watching my previous video on understanding the great lymphatic system first. Today, we will be discussing kidney filtration, just what that is, what it means for your health, and how you can achieve it. Let's get into it. As we briefly discussed in our last video on the lymphatic system, the body has two major types of waste to eliminate, digestive and cellular waste. Now, we're all familiar with digestive waste as the byproducts of digestion and what we consume or don't absorb. This type of waste is removed by the large intestine or colon. Cellular waste and its byproducts come from cells and their metabolic processes. Remember from our last video that the human body has between 75 and 100 trillion cells that eat and eliminate waste every single day. It is up to our lymphatic system to remain fluid and capable of removing this cellular waste to keep our cells strong and healthy. So the cell's waste is dumped into the lymphatic system and from here, cellular waste is filtered through the kidneys and even sometimes the skin, which is often referred to as the body's third kidney. Now, before we move any further in the video, a quick disclaimer that I will be showing pictures of urine for educational purposes, just in case you're squeamish about those things. However, even if you are a bit uneasy, I challenge you to stick with me. What you can learn from your urine may just turn your health around for the better. The kidneys are the main eliminative organs for our lymphatic system, so we should see sediment in our urine. This sediment may look like snowflakes, strings, or a general cloudiness. Urine should be slightly acidic, indicating that cellular waste is being removed from the body. If your urine is clear or free from sediment, your kidneys are not filtering your lymphatic waste properly. Now that we have a basic understanding of what kidney filtration is, let's talk about its impact on our health. What happens when our kidneys don't filter? If you recall from our previous video, what you don't eliminate, you accumulate. As kidney filtration slows, the body's sewer system, aka the lymphatic system, backs up just as sewage would in any other sewer system. This backup of acidic cellular waste is also known as inflammation. Pain and swelling are now a part of life, and we can see pimples, boils, cysts, and tumors starting to form. Eventually, this inflammation can become a systemic issue affecting a person from head to toe. That is, until you hydrate and alkalize your body. So it's pretty clear that bad shit happens when our kidneys don't filter, but how do we get kidney filtration? Many of us have abused our kidneys through high protein diets, refined sugars, and a lack of hydration. We need to bring in natural hydration and alkaline chemistry through raw fruits and vegetables to gradually hydrate and loosen hardened, dehydrated lymph. Eating lots of fruits, berries, and melons, as well as using kidney-specific herbal formulas can help restore proper kidney filtration. Diet is always number one to look at when striving for kidney filtration and true health in general. And once you've tweaked your food intake, you can add other tools to your routine as you see fit. Simple exercises like walking, running, and rebounding help circulate the lymphatic system and encourage kidney filtration. Getting your sweat on however you can is also important to help your body flush out cellular waste. Dry skin body brushing is another helpful tool you can do every day to gently move lymph and encourage filtration. Many tools are available to us to encourage this lymphatic filtration, but ultimately, it's up to you to test each one and determine what works best for you. Now, this process can take some time, so friends, please be patient with your body and keep at it. To test for kidney filtration, 
Simply pee in a glass jar and observe it after it has sat undisturbed for a few hours. You want to see sediment that has settled to the bottom of the jar. The more sediment you see, the more your kidneys are filtering your lymphatic waste. Well, that's it for today's video, friends. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you learned a little bit more about kidney filtration, why it's so important to your health, and what tools you can use to achieve better filtration. Thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe if you want more. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.